Whoa, well today we are doing yet again another soft box opening and we're gonna compare two different sizes with this. I'm gonna cut straight to the chase and kind of probably zoom through a lot of this unboxing because it's probably the same unboxing that you've seen in the other soft box. But we're really comparing what a 23 inch looks like versus a 27 inch. What's up guys, and my name is Paul, and if you're new here, I run a channel that inspires other creators that so your future is whatever you make it, and I do that through gear reviews and tutorials, and today we're going over some more gear because oh, I love gear, it's so cool. Anyway, so if you this is something you like, you enjoy watching this type of content, subscribe, there's plenty more stuff on my channel that you can expect to see stuff just like this. But without further ado, man, we got this big, humongous box, and this, is exactly how it ships from Amazon. Huge, I can't wait to see what this thing looks like. Dude, this light is the nice photo softbox with grid. It's got dual layer diffusion. And this is a 20, seven inch if you see my last video it was a 23 inch this bag is a lot nicer than the bag that came with uh, the other 23 inch softbox this one I like this one a lot better like okay just just to compare this is like the little bag it's like a little kind of, I, I, I call it like a gym bag you know you the pull string but this thing is nice it's got like a padding zipper I'm already liking this one better than the last one but like these are budget the funny part was this one is cheaper I believe than the 23 incher got your grid and your soft material. Here we go. You've seen the bag, so. And very, very similar, pretty much the same design. You got a metal Bowen's mount with all these little multi-pins. You have to expand it and, it's, and each pin snaps into place and you just press the pin down to release it. It's a really easy system. My last video took me 29 seconds to expand the 23 incher, but I don't think I'm gonna go over that today. Oh! And it's got like, you know, if you really wanna, it's an easy access to that. It has some Velcro. Oh, that's nice. See what the size comparison is because it doesn't sound like a ton but it does seem a little bigger I think this one's taking me more than 29 seconds oh. Ooh. size comparison even though it's only what four inches this thing is quite a bit bigger still not nearly as big as like the big 40 inches ones or whatever but 23 inches 27 inches I wonder so this thing is still portable but you're paying for it Funny thing is, it's really not that huge, but when you're comparing it to such a small softbox, it really is pretty big. It includes all the soft material and the grid, so this thing is a fantastic buy, in my opinion. You get a still a, a good size softbox, and you're getting good quality with this. I like the bag better. It'd be tempting. I don't know which one I'd rather go with. I do really like the size. If you have a really small studio space, the 23 is where to go. This 
thing is great. I would not hesitate to buy this again. I like it. I like it a lot. What a nice softball. Four, snap it, snap again. First layer diffusion, and you technically could collapse this. Um, what the manufacturer suggested, obviously, is you know if you collapse this and leave all the diffusion in, it's gonna get like wrinkly diffusion. So something to keep in mind. I probably wouldn't you know collapse it with the diffusion in it all the time, especially if you're gonna be storing it for a while. But if you want to just quickly you know throw it down and move to a different location for the day and, and not have to un take, take off the diffusion. I think that that's perfectly fine. It still will collapse with all this stuff in it, but the wrinkles is what you got to think about. Dual layer diffusion. Boom. Boom. You're gridded up. I love this modifier. It's, it's just got all around good stuff. It even has like a little Velcro on the, these corners. Not exactly sure what that's for. This design for this this larger one mimics more of like what the Aperture and all those other large manufacturers have because they got, you know, you Velcro these ends together so the light doesn't spill through. Would not hesitate to buy this again. It just gives you an example of some of the budget interior options that you can buy for these light modifiers. And they are pretty decent quality, especially when you compare it for how much you're paying. Well, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, do all the fun youtube things, and I will see you in the future.